all right as we discussed yesterday we was looking for by because we are focusing on by and we are looking for by after giving a correction i think you people are remember so at the level of one four uh, sorry uh, one four seven five zero all right so there are uh, average 10 line and we are focusing on uh, that that is a resistance line as I said here so because we connect most swing point by using diagonal uh, trend line so we have seen that is a resistance they are forming as a resistance and another in this area we have seen that was a swing point swing high point so here you can see price hit and reverse back and when we drawn a horizontal line by connecting this uh, horizontal line we have seen this is a support so that is why we are looking for buy after forming a bullish signal in a small time frame so always we find out the support and resistance in a large time frame like daily h4 like that all right and uh, for intraday we are using some time h1 also and now let's just jump to 5 minute or 15 minute uh, for our anti uh, opportunity all right so see here uh, 5 minute uh, 15 minute chart so let me zoom a little more okay now we have seen uh, above this supporting line 14750 uh, there are multiple rejects on pin bar have you seen and the finally we have seen uh, bullish pin bar all right and followed by a bullish candle so we confirm and finally they broke this 20 moving average and that is our buy opportunity all right and uh, let's see uh, some uh, uh, gainer stocks today today gainer stocks here i can see first itc mm, let's jump to itc okay uh, this one itc and the daily chart this is the daily chart here you can see in itc we have seen price was just in the air uh, just below this resistance line now where is the resistance line now somewhere here i can see this is the resistance line uh, here somewhere i just connected most touches point okay uh, near a swing point somewhere here just a minute okay this one uh, price was running in a sideway in this area all right that was our range and uh, finally price broke all right so here you can see that was our buy opportunity in a small time frame remember so if you are option trader uh, we can go for buy by using various type of uh, uh, option trading strategy we never place naked buy or sell we use always strategy all right so later in our option course we will discuss now here you can see in a small time frame like 15 minutes and the finally here you can see price was running uptrend and broke this area and a large momentum candle and that was our buy opportunity all right so let's see another stock sbi let's jump to sbi okay this one sbi and let's jump to daily chart first and the finally here you can see as i given earlier uh raised sbi raised 10 line and here you can see finally broke this raised 10 line so basically we are looking for buy somewhere here price gone up pull back that is our buy opportunity and here you can see this is the another buy opportunity but finally here you can see price already bo broke this raised 10 line so most of the people hey uh, this is the today candle all right uh, this is the today candle so where is our entry point so in that case we must uh, go to a small time frame like 15 minutes here you can see they are following 20 moving averages now you can see they are bouncing up 20 moving averages 
and that is our buy opportunity all right uh, because they broke this resistance line so that is why we are looking for buy another uh, that was bajaj finance uh, let's just jump to bajaj finance bajaj uh, bajaj finance yeah this one bajaj finance okay now see in a daily time frame uh, similarly here you can see uh, bajaj finance today broke this resistance line uh, that that was our resistance line resistance line and I finally broke this resistance line and let's see in a small time frame like a 15 minute or 5 minute whatever you can see for intraday so finally here you can see price broke uh, this uh, resistance line and again pull back to this level right so that is our buy opportunity so basically we are using when uh, price are running in uptrend so we are using bouncing trading strategy so in our technical analysis course we already discussed um, another stock uh, call india okay so call india so we need to focus on uh, mostly uh, infrastructure uh, sector so because uh, government are focusing on that sector all right now you can see here uh, call india just below this resistance line so in that case i'm not looking for buy all right uh, here you can see that was a swing point swing point and a swing point finally here you can see they are exactly near this swing point so in that case i'm not looking for buy uh, below resistance line so i need a breakout all right uh, if you want to see in a small time frame like h4 or uh, somewhere here if we draw a horizontal line or oh, sorry diagonal line by connecting these two two swing point and if you not see in a small time frame uh, it is little more uh, below from that area i think 10 rupees below so if you are a day trader so uh, i can go for buy for few point all right so it is probable to hit and reverse back so that is why if you are a day trader so you can go for buy for positional you can trade here because we need a break out this resistance line all right so let me break this level all right remove this one because in a large time frame they are still running in a downtrend with all right okay now let's see another stock uh, ONGC okay ONGC okay now you can see ONGC is just bouncing off 200 uh, moving average have you seen uh, somewhere here because there are a resistance, uh, sorry, supporting line, and uh, let me show you exactly. Uh, because that was a support, all right. Uh, that was a first uh, swing low, and exactly they are forming as a support. And uh, we must find out the resistance. So where is the resistance? Resistance is somewhere here, all right. So means right now here I can see price are running toward upside in a small time frame and right now we can see price the middle of this range so this is the actual market range and we are expecting that price will hit this level of 104 and right now 97 all right so we are expecting that price will hit this level so in that case we can go for buy till 104 so let's see in a small time frame so here i can see this is the small time frame all right uh, this is the actual market range and they are running in an uptrend and right now here you can see price are consolidating somewhere here so this is the uh, sideway range so we need a breakout in a small time frame. price are running in this range and we need a breakout so once price break this level we will place our buy order and our target will be a uh, 104 
uh, that is uh, ONGC and another uh, Sriram uh, Sri cement. So, leave it that uh, share price is too high almost 27,000. So, I am not interested. And uh, next, the last one, let us see uh, MM uh, Mohinder and Mahindra. M M Mahindra and Mahindra. Okay, where where is the M M? Yeah, this one Mahindra and Mahindra. Okay, first see in a daily time frame. Okay, let me remove this one. Now I can see Mahindra and Mahindra is overbought. Uh, not exactly overbought. Uh, it is too far from moving average. And first, you must uh, find out the market behavior. So, they create a new high pullback, create a new high pullback, and create a new high. It is a probability to pull back again. All right. So, most of the people are doing when price create a new high, they place buy order and price pull back again. And they start selling and price goes up. All right. Now, where is our entry point? Our entry point would be somewhere here. Now they are bouncing of 50 moving average. Have you seen this red line? And pull back near 50 and the bouncing of 50. And we need a pullback. So once they pull back to this level of uh, not exactly near 50 moving average, so that would be our buy opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to know more details about uh, market update, uh, so you just visit to our uh, our market talk web website uh, which link is given below thanks for watching